In the world of photonics, it's all about light. Photonics is about generating, detecting and manipulating light. Light for the well-being of mankind. Photonics has led to a boom in new applications for communication, consumer and health products. All these applications have a huge impact on society and many of them are already being tested or are in use in the Netherlands. We look at some very promising examples where photonic components have become indispensable in the medical world, both for diagnostics and for therapeutic purposes. One of the advantages of mammography is that when we are doing a mammography, we can see the difference between tissue, normal breast tissue and tumor. With mammography, we can see the difference. Also in very dense tissue, we can see tumors. In this approach, we use light coming from laser, which is coupled with the help of optical fibers, uh, which will fall into this imaging tank when the woman lies flat with the breast inside the imaging tank. And uh, the light is absorbed by the cancer, which produces ultrasound, which can then be picked up with an ultrasound transducer. And with this technology, we can make um, better images uh, without having compression of the breast and thereby ease the pain that is caused to the patient. This means that in the future, it will be possible to detect breast cancer at an earlier stage than now. Not only in Twente are they developing new ways to find tumors. At the Leiden University Medical Center, a new photonic device is used to spot tumors. Here, it clearly shows the surgeon where the tumor is located in the patient's liver. Before, the surgeon had to locate the tumor with his hands. In this project, we wanted to detect and treat very early tumors. So when they're just starting to grow, they're relatively easy to treat, but they're very hard to find. And in this project, we're basically developing a particle, a very special particle, an upconversion nanoparticle, with which we can detect these tumors with a very good contrast compared to the surrounding tissue. And we can, in the same instance, treat these uh, tumors. It will make the life of the surgeons more easy because instead of the hands and eyes, they can now uh, use the camera system and of course the most important thing is it will be beneficial for the patients because they can be uh, treated uh, uh, very efficiently and very quickly. This system is already in use in the operating room. In Utrecht, photonics are used in another way. Together with the university, M1 Labs developed a scan that provides revolutionary ways for doing research. One injects the mouse with uh, molecules called tracer molecules. Tracer molecules emit high energy photons that you cannot see with normal photo cameras. This machine can see very high energy photons in a tremendous detail and make even 3D or 4D images of that. With the scan, scientists can do all kinds of research without having to operate. They can actually see through the body tissues and select where to focus on. It's like putting on your glasses for the first time and say, wow, I can read. This can help the development of new cancer treatments drastically. And these are just three examples of how scientists are working with photonics in the Netherlands. In these projects, collaboration is the key word. We have the unique uh, thing in the Netherlands that it's a small country, but many um, uh, top uh, research institutes close to each other that can collaborate and then quickly move uh, to a project, realize something uh, and then finally uh, transform it into uh, products uh, like the machine you see here. If you wish to speed up your innovation in photonics, Photonics NL, the Memphis platform, the Dutch top sector high-tech systems and materials and Dutch companies are all there to assist you. Make use of this expertise to develop new possibilities for photonic devices into socially relevant and sustainable business applications.